Earthpen. Hello learners, this is Earthpen. Today, we are going to talk about another fun topic in physics. It is all about internal and external force. There are a variety of ways to categorize all the types of forces. Forces can be categorized into internal force or external force. An internal force is inside the system. This includes the gravity force, magnetic force, electrical force, and spring force. An external force, on the other hand, is force outside the system. This includes the applied force, normal force, tension force, friction force, and air resistance force. Now, why is categorizing internal and external forces relevant? The importance of categorizing a force as being either internal or external is related to the ability of that type of force to change an object's total mechanical energy when it does work upon an object. The total mechanical energy of an object is just kinetic energy plus potential energy. So when the total mechanical energy is constant, the forces acting upon the object is an internal force. But when the total mechanical energy is changed, the forces acting upon that object is an external force. An internal force does not have the capability to change the total mechanical energy of an object. This means that the total mechanical energy of that object is constant. Also, you must take note that when internal forces are acting upon an object, the energy can change from potential to kinetic or kinetic to potential. But although the energy has changed, the total mechanical energy of that object will still remain constant and that is because internal forces are conservative forces. On the other hand, an external force has the ability to change the total mechanical energy of an object. Sometimes, external forces are referred as non-conservative forces since they can change the total mechanical energy. You see, when a total work is done upon an object by an external force, the total mechanical energy of that object is changed. Also, note that if the work is a positive work, then the object will gain energy. But if the work is a negative work, then the object will lose energy. I have mentioned that in an external force, there is a positive and a negative work. But what does it mean? When work is done by external forces or non-conservative forces, the total mechanical energy of an object is changed. The work done by the object can either be positive work or negative work, but it depends whether the force doing the work is directed opposite the object's motion or if the work is in the same direction as the object's motion. Remember these takeaways for knowing what kind of work is done by the object. Positive work is done on the object if the force and the displacement are in the same direction. And since positive work is done on an object by an external force, the object then gains mechanical energy. But if the force and the displacement are in the opposite direction, then a negative work is done on the object. This means that the object also loses mechanical energy. Alright, that ends our lesson for today. But before we end, let us first summarize everything. Today you learned about the difference between internal and external forces. We also learned that in an external force, the work done on an object can either be positive work or negative work. So did you enjoy our topic for today? I hope you certainly did. See you again next time for more interesting and fun topics only here in Earthpen. Also, please don't forget to subscribe. Once again, this is Earthpen. Learning has never been this easy for anyone, anywhere. Have a nice day.